Hey guys, it's Henry here from HTP Bluegrade Farming. So yeah, just thought I'd uh, give you guys an update on uh, how the Lucerne is coming along. Uh, it looks pretty good to me, it came out very nice. Um, this will be now the third cutting I'm getting from this. And uh, yeah, like you can see, it's about uh, almost to the knee. Most places, or well not most places, it's almost to the knee. We got some low spots. This side is a bit of a low spot. Well, not low, high spot that the water can't, doesn't get to so much. But it came out quite nice. Uh, of course, uh, the way the slope itself lies, the pipes which are at the lowest part have grown the best, will get the most water out of them. So this spot right here is doing wonderful because it gets most of the water. So if I'm in between this, it's almost halfway up to the groin. So no, this this here is very very nice alfalfa, Lucerne. So yeah, no, I must say, even looking inside the root structures, well not the root structures, the bottoms, it's coming along very very nice. So yeah, here we have our drip pipe, drip tape, down here at the bottom. But no, I must say, I, I think it came out very very nice. And this is all grown with uh, with grey water. So this is all the water that's left after we finished at the end of the day, bathing, washing clothes, and uh, just by using drip tape instead of the standard sprinkler system, I managed to keep bacteria down, and uh, I managed to plant about 10 times more than what I was planting previously with the same amount of water. If I have to put it into perspective from here until the tree um, and then up to the fence. So it's from this side here up to the tree, up to that post, back down here is one sprinkler size and that's what I was able to use with the amount of water that we have at the end of the day. So uh, just by using drip tape I maximized it as much as you can see all the way from here to there is uh, 35 meters and this side here is closer to 40 meters from here all the way down through that side. So yeah no I believe this is the future, this is the way to go. Maximizing your uh, water that you have and just seeing what you can do with uh, what you used to do and what you can do now these days, it's amazing. Now, I'd, uh, I'd refer anyone to start using drip tape, drip systems. I'm starting looking at uh, trying to, uh, with the next, like you guys seeing here, this is the next uh, piece I'm going to plant and I want to plant those pipes inside the ground. I don't know if I've, well I haven't decided if I'm going to put them in the soil or like the same with these ones on top because uh, getting them to sprout if they're inside the, uh, the ground, the soil, it's a lot more difficult so it's easier, it uh, germinates much better when the water is right there with it as to burying the pipe 200 millimeters or so down into the soil 200 to 300 millimeters that water will just my, I don't have enough water to be able to germinate those seeds let me just put it in that like that so yeah we'll see we'll see what's what's lying in for the future and then there that piece there at the back straight straight at the back is why I'm going to try plant uh, alfalfa lucerne but uh, dry land so without giving it any water, I got a, 
uh, they call it a bar 10 lucerne alfalfa so it can go 10 months without any water and uh, when it gets water it uh, just comes back just grows back so yeah we'll see maybe that'll that'll work for this part of the world uh, yeah no thanks for tuning in thanks for watching my channel um, if you guys are not please subscribe uh, it's uh, yeah this is just me showing you what I can do what I'm doing down here in South Africa wonderful country thanks a lot